What level are you? Watch through this video to find out where you rank. And also keep watching to see how insane some of these get. Skub. You only need to learn one algorithm. Airminx. It only requires solving six edges and then flip the last few corners. Fun fact, don't step on it unless you want to go to the hospital. I mean, just look at that. It's as sharp as a knife. Okay, 2x2 two two is pretty easy. The first thing is solving one layer, and then a few algorithms to finish it. But the last event I have on this list is totally insane. I have no idea how these cubers do it. I bet you're able to solve the clock. The first step is to solve a cross on both sides. Then you finish it by solving the corners. In fact, it's so easy, you don't even need to watch a tutorial. The 3x3 three three is actually very simple, but most people don't see that. The first step is solving a white cross. The second step is solving the first two layers. And then finally, you only need a few algorithms to solve the last layer. 3x3 three three one hand is solving the cube as fast as you can with only one hand. 3x3 three three fewest moves is where you try to solve the cube in fewest moves possible. Anyone can do it, but only the smart ones are good at it. 4x4 four four is basically a 3x3 three three, but with a few extra steps. Step 1 is solving the centers. Step 2 is pairing the edges. And step 3, you guessed it, 3x3 three three stage. But sometimes it gives you parity which is basically an unsolvable state that requires a really long algorithm to solve. The square one has some really wacky notation, and your first time solving it is almost like relearning the Rubik's Cube all over again. But there is something way harder than this, just wait till the end because it is absolutely crazy. The Megaminx. Instead of having 6 sides like a 3x3, three three, it has 12 sides. But it's fairly simple if you know what you're doing. 5x5. Five the 6x6 and the 7x7 seven seven are solved the same as the 4x4, four four, but the only difference is that they have a lot more pieces, and it sometimes can be very frustrating to find the piece you want. 3x3 three three blindfold is where you memorize the position and orientation of each piece, then you solve them all one by one while you're blindfolded. 3x3 three three multi-blind is the same as regular blindfold, except you have multiple cubes. 4x4 four four blindfold. We're getting pretty big at this point, but guess what? There's also a 5x5 five five blindfold. I'm just speechless at this point. I still don't understand how they memorize all of those pieces. But if you think some of these events are too hard, go check out my video for non-WCA cubes. And most of these are fairly easy. But if you do not want to watch that, check out my first ever beluga type skit. Because it is being very underrated, and I'd love for you just to give it one more view. With that being said, thanks for watching.